Yes, yeah, so this is gaming on a 22 inch Yama CRT. Um, just starting off with the settings. And you can push this thing up to 160 hertz and higher, probably 170 at lower resolutions. Um, I just go somewhere in the middle, just using the Nvidia custom resolution thing. Um, just type in whatever resolution you want and the refresh rate and click test. If it displays then it works, uh, if it goes black then it doesn't support it. I've seen a lot of people using the interlace function, I can't seem to get it to work. Um, yeah, this is a CRT designed in the early 2000, 99-2000. Uh, it weighs a ton. It's a really good monitor though, it's one of the higher end ones at the time. And you're probably no, not going to get much better unless you own the revered Sony GDM FW900. Which I'd love to get my hands on, but you're looking at anything at two grand plus for that. Just starting off with a bit of Witcher gameplay, and you can already see how smooth it's looking. Um, obviously, it doesn't look as smooth on camera because of the motion blur, and the camera is only at 60 FPS. Uh, any lines that you see are just because the refresh rate and the shutter speed of the camera. Such as that one there. They're not re there in real life. Uh, this is Red Dead 2, obviously. And this is a game that I originally hated when it came out because it was so sluggish. I mean, the controls are sluggish as it is, but bought it sort of day one on PlayStation 4. Wasn't a good experience. Um, not even the pro version, so yeah, performance was abysmal. 30 frames per second and sluggish as hell. And it really put me off the game, but. Playing it on this feels like an actual game again. Um, just trying to pan the camera as much as possible. Um, I mean, it looks pretty smooth even on camera, but in real life, it's just instant and perfect resolution when when you're moving. No motion blur whatsoever. Like not with an LCD screen where you can say it's whatever resolution, but when you're turning, it's actually <laughs> nowhere near it. Um, I'm a big hater of LCD. I always have been. Um, obviously, started off gaming on these things, and then when I moved to LCD, and we're talking early LCD, it's absolutely horrendous, unplayable. So I ended up going back to CRT until sort of like the higher refresh rate LCD came out, uh, 120 hertz plus, and really you need, for me, minimum 120 hertz on an LCD. Um, traditionally, an FPS player, and you've really got to have that to be it competitive in any sort of way, in my opinion. You may disagree, think I'm being snobbish. Uh, yes, a bit of GTA 5 now. This game looks amazing on this, uh, so smooth. You can see the frames in the bottom corner hitting like 120 constant, which just adds to it. Really your refresh rate, you should, your frames should be pushing above it. Just so there's no, there's no tearing on a CRT anyway, but just so you're getting the maximum out of it. Obviously it would be tearing on an LCD. My other monitor is an Asus G-Sync monitor and while it's nice, it's nice and thin, nice and wide. Colours are terrible, <laughs> um, black levels are terrible, colours are grey, washed out. And while it's close to this kind of motion, because it's 165 hertz, um, it's still nowhere near and technology's really regressed in that aspect. That's why it's so refreshing to come back to this. The only downside really of the CRT is obviously the size and the weight and the fact that most modern shooting games don't support for a free aspect ratio and that is why monitors like the Sony GDM are so sought after because they're the only monitor CRTs with a 16-10 aspect ratio. Me and my friend actually picked up two of these monitors He's got the other one. Um, £100 each, bargain. I think they were used for like X graphic design or something like that. Um, obviously you're going to get close to reference colours on a CRT because of the technology it uses. Phosphor emitting. It's a bit of dishonour too. God knows what I'm doing on this game, I'll just pack this guy to bits. Yeah, I couldn't really show a lot of the game because I haven't really played it. 
It's just like the first bit. But yeah, when you get a game that supports the 4 3, it's a real pleasure. Yeah, so the CRT kind of tier list I'd say is a normal kind of 17 inch with a curved screen and then to get the bigger sizes and you want the flat screen ideally, it's going to cost a lot more but it's definitely worth it. Just make sure you have a bit of strength to carry it. <laughs> Uh, this is Forza Horizons. Uh, not a lot going on this game, but it looks amazing. Super smooth again, colours are amazing. And going back in time a bit, Age of Empires 2. And you're not going to be able to really tell on on uh, through the camera, but this was one of the games where it was most kind of obvious the, the difference in motion, just panning around and everything's like fully in focus all the time. Yeah, it's going to be hard to see the uh, refresh rate of the camera. This is the newer version with the updated graphic pack. It looks really good. Great game anyway. Had a lot of fun playing it when I was younger. And my favourite game of all time, Half-Life 1. Had to lower the resolution a bit here, but still absolutely clean looking. Good memories. Could only find a game of bots because no one plays it anymore, which is sad. Yeah, so if you get an opportunity to pick one of these up, then I'd recommend it. You don't have the money to fork out for a high refresh rate LCD. Which aren't great anyway, but... Hope you enjoyed it.